Okay, welcome to my second video YouTube, and this video is going to cover some statistical functions which you can use to interpret data which you have. I'm going to cover the four basic uh, st statistical things, which is the mean, which is just the average of the set of data, the mode, the most amount, so the most common number, the median, which is the middle number, just gonna add a, sorry, just going to add the data the medium, which is the middle number, and the range, which is the difference between the highest number and the difference between the yeah, difference between the highest and lowest number. Uh, so first of all, we're going to go on to our function page. We're going to first of all find out the mean. Now the mean is essentially the average. So if we go on to the category when looking up a function, you can click on statist statistical, which is the uh, data which you have. So, on the, sorry, on the on the first page, we have average, which is what the mean is, um, and you can read the description of each uh, function to check it's the correct one which you are using. So, the average returns the average arithmetical mean which is what we're using, of its arguments, which can be numbers, names, arrays, or references that contain numbers. So instead of typing out all these individual sets of data here, this is our data by the way, we can just highlight the numbers. So this is telling Excel all the numbers from E3 to M3. So we simply click OK and it creates our function for us. We could have typed this out manually if we wanted. We would type in average, brackets, highlight the data, close brackets. So our average amount for all this data is 182. Next we're going to find out the, most, the mode. And we're going to type this out manually. So we can start typing we see the data has uh, recurred. Functions available compatibility. I hope it still works. It's telling me there may be some compatibility error. So we type in mode and we type in our parentheses the open and close brackets. So that's uh, uh, keeping all the data between here. The mode gets all the data at once. And now to create this to tell it what data we want, we can simply drag the numbers we have. So the mode is 21. The most common occurring number is 21. That's why I added the 21 previously in the video. Next is going to be medium. Medium, oh, we quickly found that. I mean, if you can't find that, go onto the function page and search for it there because sometimes it's like mean we we didn't we can just search mean we would have had to search average median so we do a you press the tab button after you select the thing from the list and it automatically does our open brackets just gonna select the numbers close the brackets again and press the enter button and it will tell us the medium the middle number in that set of data so it automatically list them in number order, smallest to largest, and find the middle number. So next is the range. This should no um you see it hasn't found a range. We can look through these data. Nope. So if we we can't find this data in the list, perhaps it's listed as something else. So we go on to statistical, the category, and then we just, we can do a quick search from here. And we can even type it up here and see if it finds it. Range. Um, for some reason that closed. I 
Alright. So if we just look through these by clicking on them, we can just look through. Counts the cells containing numbers in the field column records of the database. Nope, that's not us. Database. And these are all um, to do with databases. Perhaps I should have prepared more for this video. So you can see there's so many to choose from. And Excel does give quite a good description of what each does. So you just have to briefly look through the description of each products no so I mean you could work out because we can't find the functional for this thing we could um we could uh, almost create our own variable so how do we get the range we get the highest number take away the lowest number and that's what our range is so let's try and find the max number. So first of all we get the max number. So the max number on all this data is 453. Take away that yeah, formula isn't correct right now because we haven't finished it. Take so we get the max number and take away the minimum number. Minimum. min a so the minimum number of all the sets of data so we've just found our range, our range is 432 so sometimes you have to be creative of how you come to your results I'm sure there is a function for range but we couldn't find it so we were creative and we found the maximum number using the max a function I just had to type in maximum and then I took that away from the min minimum number, which was 21. I just searched lowest. I just, sorry, I just yeah, just if you search in here, you can type a brief description of what you want to find out. Uh, so I hope this video helped you, perhaps learn a bit more about Excel. I did teach you a bit more than I was planning to, about having to use your initiative. Uh, but I hoped. This, I hope you found this video interesting and you actually learnt something from it. Uh, I'd welcome any feedback from my video and please subscribe to my channel, YouTube School 101. Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.